to my YouTube channel. My name is Jasmine Chesa, and today's video we're going to do a little tour. Yay! <laughs> so I know I've done other tours before. I will link those videos at the end of this video so you can go and check them out. So today I've had a lot of requests about doing a tour around Hollywood and seeing as I do live in LA, I thought that Maverick and I, Maverick's driving, <laughs> we thought that we would do a tour, but obviously like just from inside our car, so it's going to be like a car tour. So without further ado guys, let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome to my Hollywood tour. So our first stop will be Hollywood Boulevard. You can see the stars, which is the Walk of Fame. This has been around since 1958 and oh, Frank Sinatra has two stars, one for music and one for movies. Here is the Roosevelt Hotel, which we will come back to at the end. This is where the Jimmy Kimmel show is filmed. Oh, and here is Disney Cinema El Capitan and some chocolate. Mmm! This building used to be an old bank, but look how beautiful it is. Hollywood has a lot of souvenir shops, and to your right you can see the Hollywood Museum, which was the old Max Factor building. How amazing! Here is the Ripley's Believe It or Not. They have Marilyn Monroe's Happy Birthday Mr. Present dress inside. Oh my goodness! Now we have the Pig and Whistle restaurant restaurant and bar. This is one of the oldest places in Hollywood and it started in 1927. Next to it we have the Egyptian Theatre which was built in the 1920s by Sid Grauman. Now here is the Pacific Theatre which as you can tell is very old. It was built in 1928 and it used to be called the Warner Brothers Theatre. Let's go further down the street to see the Pantages Theatre and the Frolic Room. The Pantages Theatre was built in the 1930s and it held the 25th Academy Awards. Okay you guys, so I hope you're enjoying this tour so far. Maverick is... I don't know if he's enjoying it. No, no, no. I'm just... He's driving. Um, so yeah, so now we're going to go onto the other side so I can show you more things and I can get you guys the Chinese theatre. Um, it is all boarded up at the moment, but we'll see what we can see from the road. <laughs> I will try my best to get as many good shots as possible for you guys. So let's do it. And also the Frolic Room was a speakeasy, which was started in the 1930s. Also, if you guys are into music, let me show you the Capitol Records building. And I can't wait to tell you guys all the history about it because at the top of that building there's something extra special. So let's go see it. Here's the Capitol Records building. It has been around since 1956. And at the top of the building, this is something so cool. There is a tower and it would flash red lights in Morse code to read Hollywood. How amazing! Now let's drive down to more exciting sites. Oh my goodness you guys, let me show you the oldest restaurant in Hollywood. So this is Musso and Frank's. It is the oldest restaurant in Hollywood. It's been there since 1919, so many famous celebrities have eaten there and still do till this day. I must say their food is really tasty. So I feel like I'm not a tour guide you guys. Should I start doing tours? <laughs> what do you think Maverick? Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> People are like throwing me a camera. <laughs> I try, you guys. I really try. <laughs> Let's get on with the tour. Here we are on the other side of Hollywood Boulevard. You can see lots and lots of stores. So to your right, you can see this old Egyptian building. So this was actually from an old Hollywood film set. Wow, how cool. They rebuilt it so it's safe and you can walk on it, but it still leaves some of the old Hollywood magic. It was from the movie Intolerance, which was from 1916. This is the Dolby Theatre where the Oscars are usually held. Now here is the famous Chinese theatre, which is also built by Sid Grauman. How magnificent. It was built in 1927. This is also where famous celebrities from all generations have imprinted their hands and feet into cement. Our last stop of the tour Oh, it's the Roosevelt Hotel. This hotel was built in 1927 and many, many celebrities would stay there and it's said to be very haunted. Oh my. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this tour. It was a lot of fun. Like I enjoyed like looking up all the history and telling you guys all about it. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please don't forget to leave a like, a comment and to subscribe. Bye. I love you all so much. Bye. Bye. <laughs>